I'm the town dragon. I used to have a name, but when the rest of my species were erased from history, uh, it got erased, so I don't know what it is. No one remembers the town dragons. They used to fly everywhere, but they were erased from history when they fell in the dead space in the town field. Uh, yeah. So I can travel in time by going into the town field and going into another place in town. I can change history if I want. You know? And uh, the older version of the timeline is sort of like footprints. But you can kind of travel to them, but not for very long. They're kind of falling apart. Anyway, that's called traveling sideways in time instead of forwards in time, or backwards in time. Uh, anyway, one day I was just like nerding around town and I found this guy, and his name was Beckett Melville. He's over there. Wait for the crowd. Unfortunately, that was in uh, 2018, and I'm in 2012 right now, so I can't talk about it in front of him, cause, or any, really, any of his friends, really, because I'm not allowed to talk about people's immediate futures, or futures at all. It's against the town dragon rules, I still remember that part. So anyway, I don't really need a name. When there were more town dragons, you couldn't really call yourself the town dragon, because there were a lot of them, but now I'm the only one, so I'm the town dragon. So yeah, I fly through space and time. Although, as uh, my friend here, Beckett, pointed out just now in this year, uh, as he pointed out, uh, everyone travels in time because they travel one second per second into the future. But the thing is, I can travel uh, faster or slower in time, and I can go in the other direction backwards in time, and I can also travel sideways in time. <laughs> You're lame. Sideways. <laughs> You can travel left in time, which is traveling to earlier versions of the timeline. Or you can travel right in time, which is traveling to later versions of the timeline. It's really confusing. Uh, you can't really comprehend it unless you're time dragon. I'm only two years old, technically speaking, in your Earth Sun thingy years. But I'm just kidding. <laughs> time dragons, you know, they age uh, mentally really fast. They get really smart. So yeah, just been nerding around time and space. For the past two years, well, like not exactly two years, because a lot of it was spent, you know, being with the time dragons. But I've been running around for like twenty years now, no, twenty months, years, months. They're they get confused when you're a time dragon. Yeah, they Maybe are. Maybe I can speak English, because I speak every language that was implanted in my head, and I can remember all of them. So I'm just speaking now. Uh, my accent, you might be wondering what it is. It's nothing. It's the time dragon accent when the time dragons try to speak English. And if it resembles any other accents that are human, that's a complete coincidence. Uh, yeah. But it doesn't really, I don't think. I could be wrong. So, um, anyway. That's the last of the time, Dragon. Beckett, you're gonna meet me in 2018, but I won't have met you yet, because it's an earlier version of me. Very confusing, though. You knew me when I met you, but I didn't know you, because of right now, you already met me then. What? What you eating, Beckett? Fake Newtons. Those are re those are really good. Yeah. Covering yourself up with a pillow, huh? One time. One time. <laughs> okay, weirdo. One time, I met myself in the past, but I don't remember seeing myself in the future. So my memories changed, and the timeline changed. It was a really weird experience for me. It was kind of like a like a bad drug trip. <laughs> all my memories were going all wonky. It's really now kind of faded now. I got two different versions of the same event in my head as a memory. Really weird. And sometimes I thought about me and my future self as my past self. So a lot of different events <laughs> happened twice different ways in my head. Anyway. I was gone, travel, time traveled, not forward or backwards, but right, and then <laughs> later version of timeline, the whole universe never existed. It's really weird. Yeah, I don't know what caused that. It must have all fell into a dead space in the time field or something. Hopefully I'll try to avoid it, because I can do that. You just have to travel diagonal in time. Now boy, that would blow your mind if you could understand it. Alright.